y'all back on the Pinhoti it's 5 15 in the morning got up fairly early but I've been editing my videos in the morning but I did most of it last night and look what I get to do got to put on uh, dry shoes this morning but uh, within the first 20 yards we we're in it Got to cross over a bunch of these this morning, so take those freedom steps and let's get moving. Mm -hmm. Pinhoti's the trail itself. It's been really good. Going through the Cahutta wilderness right now, I think. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There's definitely some climbing. It's the northern section of the Pinhoti, but it's nothing like the BMT. Nice, usually following some kind of far service road or just nice, easy, graded climbs say easy if you're out of shape they kick your butt but uh nah this has been a pleasure so far Let's see what i see food in me eating some banana chips right now these are just a godsend i love these things out here so good all right let me show y'all what i see been blessed these last two days on the Pinhoti with the end of my day after many miles being on these flat lands down by just a gorgeous creek and this day is no different just beautiful if it wasn't I would already have quit for the day so I'm approaching 24 25 right now don't have any cell phone coverage that's okay just feel decent just gonna keep moseying down this trail life's good what else is there to do i can set up a tent and sit there or see the magic of this world
1610 in the afternoon. Those cars are tired. I don't know what mile we're on now, but it's well over 25. I'm trying to do about three more to a campsite by this little waterfall that I saw in the guy's video in 2019. Again, that's about three miles away. Got plenty of time. Just don't know if I want to push the body that hard. We'll see. If I find a good spot for then, might settle in. All right, y'all going to sign off for tonight. Got a good camp spot here. Not too far from the road walk, the big one into Dalton. So it is only like 6, 15, 6, 20, and I'm going to go to bed here no later than 7 get up at about hmm, 1 30 or 2 o'clock it's only about an hour earlier than I'm getting up anyway so it won't be that big of a deal and then um, get that road walk knocked out <clears throat> um, eat my food bag down I ate a, some of tomorrow's food tonight as well and I'll do that for breakfast in the morning too just trying to get my pack as light as possible and it's getting light uh, there's several stores on the way to Dalton there's one three miles in and one, I don't know, 10 miles in or something, but they're spaced um, well enough to where I can just jump in there and grab a bite to eat if I'm hungry at the time. Otherwise, I'm getting on down the road. Plan is for um, my mom to come get me sometime tomorrow. She doesn't know that yet, but she will by the time this comes out. And uh, head back to her house for probably a zero and then have her bring me back to Dalton and go ahead and finish out the last, I think it's 60 miles, 70 miles, something like that. So knock that out in a few days and be done with the Penhody. All right, y'all, today was awesome. Um, coming through the Cahutta Wilderness, I think that's what it's called. A gut hook something, like you don't get a sense for where you're at in gut hooks other than you're on the trail. But that was awesome, but a lot of climbs today, more than I was expecting. So I'm pretty wore out. Um, I'm just shy of 30 miles today. I uh, wanted to get close to the road so I can get up and get at it in the morning. So, um, surprisingly, I felt worse yesterday than I do today. Uh, it's amazing. My legs feel good. My feet feel good. Um, yeah, my nutrition must have been on point today. My hydration must have been on point today. It was hot. Hot for me, meaning in the 70s. Uh, I don't like anything over 70 man and uh, ER isn't hiking normally. I just don't like to sit out here and sweat. But the beautiful thing is the last two nights I've had a creek um, right beside me, nobody else around. So I just get down to my underwear, get in the creek and just take a bath. It's awesome. Washed out my socks. Um, yeah, good to go. Feet were wet from, y'all saw this morning, hopefully it's in the video. Uh, the first five yards of the trail that I had to walk this morning, I had to cross the creek and just walked in water the rest of the day to keep my feet wet. And I think that's why they're so good. It's unbelievable. Um, especially when you got on like Ultra Lone Peaks, they drain water so good. Uh, yeah, they're just a joy. Don't even have to worry about it. All right, y'all, it's already getting long. I want to say I love you to my family back home. I don't have any service, so I can't hear about Caleb getting his license. I hope that went well. Um, yeah, miss you guys. Love you to death. We'll see you soon. Everybody else, we will see you tomorrow. Deuces.